Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a fun false proof video. I'm going to prove that every single natural number is zero. So any positive integer you take, it's actually equal to zero. So 1 equals zero, 2 equals zero, 428 also equals zero. Of course this is a false proof because that's absurd, that can't be true. Uh, but I want to see if you can spot the mistake. Now before I get into it, I should say this certainly isn't my false proof. In fact, this false proof dates back almost 200 years to a guy called Thomas Clausen. And we're going to be using complex numbers to derive this result here. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's start by taking any natural number n. And then we'll show that n equals 0. And then we'll get our result that all the natural numbers equal 0. Because of course then you can apply this argument to any natural number. Okay, so let's start off with n in the natural numbers. Then we know that e to the 2i pi n equals 1. Okay, because obviously e to the 2i pi equals 1, then just raising both sides to the n gives us this thing here. Now what we're going to do is multiply both sides by e. So on the left hand side I get e times e to the 2i pi n, which of course is just e to the 2i pi n plus 1. So this is e to the 2i pi n plus 1, and the right hand side is just e. And now what I'm going to do is raise both sides to the 2i pi n plus 1 power. Okay, so on the left hand side I get e to the 2i pi n plus 1 raised to the 2i pi n plus 1, and on the right hand side I get e to the 2i pi n plus 1. But by the previous line, e to the 2i pi n plus 1 is just this thing here, which equals e. So I get this thing equals e. And this left hand side we can simplify sort of using exponent rules. So this thing here equals e to the 2i pi n plus 1 all squared. So we get that e equals e to the 2i pi n plus 1 all squared. Now let's bring this to the top of the whiteboard and continue. Okay, so we have e equals e to the 2i pi n plus 1 all squared. Let's expand the brackets on this thing here. This equals e. Uh, so this guy here squared, which is going to give me 2 squared times i squared times pi squared times n squared. 2 squared is 4, i squared is minus 1, pi squared is pi squared, and n squared is n squared. So that thing uh, is going to give me minus 4 pi squared n squared. Okay, then plus 2 times that times that, so that's plus 4 i pi n, and then just plus 1 squared, which is plus 1. Now, of course, again, by exponent rules, I can split this into the product of 3 exponents. So it's just e to the minus 4 pi squared n squared times e to the 4 i pi n times e to the 1, which is just e. But of course, e to the 4 i pi, uh, 4 pi i, e to the 4 i pi n is just 1, because of course this thing here is just e to the 2 i pi n all squared. Uh, so this thing here is just the same thing as multiplying by 1, so we can get rid of that and bring this e here. So we get e equals e to the minus 4 pi squared n squared times e. But then we can just divide both sides by e. So we get that 1 is equal to e to the minus 4 pi squared n squared. Now we can just take the natural log on both sides. Of course, the natural log of, just, of 1 is just 0. And on the right-hand side, we take the natural log of this, so we just bring this exponent down. So it's minus 4 pi squared n squared. Uh, but then, of course, we can divide both sides by minus 4 pi squared, and then take the square root and conclude that n must equal 0. And of course, n was just an arbitrary natural number, so this argument holds for every natural number, and then we can conclude that the set of natural numbers equals zero. But, of course, this result is absurd. So where was the mistake in this proof? Did you spot it? If you did, uh, let me know in the comments down below. That's all for today. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my other fun maths videos as well. But I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.